They feel so freaking... Oh my gosh. Hi guys, and welcome back to the vlog from The Prince and Me. He loves this little couch so much. You guys know, okay, we don't let him up on our living room couches, which really caused a stir online. I literally thought people were gonna call animal control and say like he was in an abusive household because he's not allowed on our living room couches. And everyone was saying like, oh, that's not gonna last. Like, well, let's see how long that lasts. To this day, he does not try to go up on those couches, even when we're sitting on them, because you guys know I spend a lot of time on the floor with him. But, and by the way, he has his bed, but he does not try to go on them at all. It's like, he just, he just knows. Like he just, I, I think it's just, it's one of those things, it's a learned behavior. So if as a puppy, I was constantly taking him up on the couches, and then all of a sudden one day I'm like, nope, you're not allowed on. That's not, that's not gonna fly with him, but he's just, he's never been allowed up. And so he knows, he knows this is his little prince couch. Mm, they're so cute. Doesn't even make sense how cute he is. Like guys, I don't understand. Today is actually going to reach like, I think like 75 degrees here in Cincinnati, which is absurd and insane and so good. I am so freaking excited. But at the same time, like we definitely will be spending time outside, Avi. Ew, I don't know why. I've never said, I've never said that in my life. Obviously, not Avi. I've never said, ugh. but I, in general, need to get my life in order. My life is not in order. I have been in this weird, lazy rut for what feels like forever at this point. And what I mean by that, like there are a million and one tasks that I have to do, like around the house, and I, I won't do them. I refuse. Like, and it's just, it's absurd. Like every day I wake up and I'm like, maybe this will be the day I actually do something productive, and I just won't. And I mean, part of it, I mean, obviously, like I had the horrible first trimester of pregnancy, but then I got sick. I was sick for like five straight days, got better, was so happy, so excited, like went to the gym, worked out, was feeling good. And then all of a sudden I woke up yesterday and it was like sickness times 10 where I, it's just a throat infection and cough. I was, I literally didn't shower yesterday, which that's unheard of for me. I always shower with COVID, with anything. Like I shower, like it just makes me feel better. I just, I just gave up. I'm like, I'm not even showering. Um, and I just felt awful and then today I feel better again. So I'm so confused as to what is happening to me. But the bottom line is I have to like become a productive human again. I just don't feel good when I'm walking around the house and you'll see what I'm talking about. Like we just have all of these things. Well, I'll actually show you right now. All right, so first let's start small. It's little things like this. Like we, I can't just live in a web of wires. Not to mention we've just got things going on over here. Like what even is this? Asher's toys are absolutely everywhere. And one thing is I read you're supposed to rotate their toys. So I'm supposed to like take them away and then cycle through. But I, I just haven't done that. Like he has access to every single toy he owns. And it's just, it's way too many. Then coming down here, we just have a whole mess of things on the island. Like it's just, it's absolutely ridiculous. And don't get me started on the boxes. I have this I still need to unbox. All of these, and I know what they are. For example, this I'm very excited about. It's a, like a, what's it called? Like an entryway table that we are going to put right here, which will be super nice. We've literally had it a month. A month, it's just been sitting here. The idea of putting it together, like, is just, it's just awful to me. Like, I don't know why I won't do it. Oh my gosh, guys, I've never seen him do this before. That is so cute of you. Oh my gosh, you're investigating. This is probably one of the scariest parts. Oh my gosh, our cupboard, it, it's, it's, it's just the biggest mess you've ever seen in your entire life. Like, what is going on here? I don't know. Our refrigerator is equally as scary. I would say half of everything in here is literally like expired. Like I haven't gone through, like it's just so bad and I just have to like bite the bullet. But before I bite the bullet, I just wanna have a nice relaxing morning. I wanna read my book. I don't recommend this book. I'm like three quarters of the way in. It's called The Shadow House by Anna Downs. I'm still waiting for something to happen. Like it's, it's not good at all. So I don't recommend, but I'm still gonna finish it. And yeah, I just, I just need one last relaxing morning before I, you know, enter into society once again and become a productive human.
right, so before I start on the million and one tasks I feel like I have to accomplish around the house, I do wanna show you one productive thing I have done within the last month, and that is make the switch to Blue Land, which I first found out about this company feels like forever ago. It was on Shark Tank, actually, and I distinctly remember the sharks were obsessed with the company because the concept was, it's just one of those things where you're like, how has no one thought of this? But not only that, I, I also was like, how did they... How did they even formulate this? For those of you who have never heard of Blue Land, it's basically like eco-friendly cleaning products that are good for the environment, they're good for your wallet, and they're also good for just like the space in your house. You'll see what I mean in a second, because instead of buying all of the hand soaps, you know, so many plastic bottles, all of your cleaning supplies, the dish pods, the detergent that are bad for the environment taking up space in your house, you're basically just getting these forever bottles. Obviously, very good material, good for the environment. And so this is staying with me. Instead, I am getting these refillable tablets and they are doing all of the work, which is such a cool concept. I'm so excited to get to work with Blue Land on this video and show you guys. For example, I wanna show you creating my hand soap, so to speak. All you do is take your forever bottle, you fill it up with warm water, you drop the tablet in, which it comes in all different kinds of scents. I'm currently using the lavender scent. And within seconds, it's hand soap. It's hand soap that's not in a plastic bottle, that doesn't take up a bunch of space in your house. For example, you could technically store like 60 hand soaps, right? Like 60 tablets in just like what this amount of space like it's just such a game changer for the space in your house and also all of the ingredients are naturally derived and clean all of this refillable packaging is compostable this by the way is the laundry detergent tablet so same deal it's the tablet system you just toss it in before you put in your laundry you put in your laundry and it gets to work and it lifts stains you might have on your laundry it creates like a really clean fresh outcome like you're not sacrificing on you know, the cleanliness or how good the products are. There really is no reason for all of like the single use plastic companies have or any of that other than I guess convenience and just companies hadn't thought of this before. But I mean, this is like the way of the future. So for example, this is where I keep all of my um, laundry detergent tablets, just in this little compartment, super convenient. And ultimately with the refill system, you end up saving money, especially I know that they have subscriptions that you can do that will allow you to save even more money. Cause obviously, you know, you're going to be needing hand soap every single, however often, like, you know, these are things that you're going to need every single month. It's not something that's going to change, you know? So if you guys are interested in checking this out, trying it out, I cannot recommend it enough. I'm going to have a link below that will get you 15% off your first starter kit. And low key, I love how just sleek this looks. Like I like just having like a nice neutral sleek because this is like, you know, front and center in my house. Like I normally like having like a very clean island. So it's one of the only things on my kitchen island. But yeah, I will have that link below. I have loved using these products. So definitely check them out. Are you ready? Are you ready to go outside? Well, despite the fact that I have a million and one things I need to do around the house, we are um, going on a quick little getaway, a getaway, yeah, a getaway to just get lunch. Um, we figured we'd take Asher with us, go outside, all of that. It's like the most beautiful day ever. But I am wearing a good outfit to show you. I've gotten so many questions like asking for a bump update. There just hasn't been an update as of now. One thing I didn't realize till I got pregnant is you actually don't show for a long time with your first pregnancy. It takes a while for you to show, but there definitely is a little something something. Um, it literally just looks like bloating though. You'd never know I'm pregnant. You just think I'm bloated. So you have any thoughts, Zach? <laughs> is that what you're telling yourself? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you might think I'm pregnant <laughs> for my side profile. <laughs> I know, plus if you like, if you look observe any side profile enough, you're like, yeah, I see a bump, like, but. I'm carrying the baby for us. But this is the part of pregnancy that's like weird because no one, you really don't know I'm pregnant, but it does just look like <laughs> she uh, should probably do some sit-ups or something. Not really, I'm kidding. But um, I'm really happy I'm not on TV though. Oh my gosh, Zach, it was, I think it was your mom who told us she was either pregnant with you or Kristen. Yeah, and people would like call in and be rude. And say mean things to her. Yeah, obviously it's not very nice, and I'm sure there'll be people once you start showing on YouTube that think it's funny to say stuff like that too, but obviously it's pretty rude, so. Back off, guys. I'm growing a kid, but I think going on TV, like, with a huge bump, like, that's not even the worst thing. It's when you're, like, four or five months pregnant, and you're not really showing, and you just look like you've, like, put on <laughs> quite a few LVs, so I'm really happy I don't have to deal with that. I mean, and plus, I, like, I think we have a pretty good community on here where people are going to be kind, I hope.
We are en route to Corito, which I have not had Corito in the longest time. If you know, you know, it is like one of my favorite spots here in Cincinnati for a classic salad. Or they also have burritos, but I've never gotten a burrito there. But Zach, I want to know, within the last month or two, have you noticed the, uh, the productivity around the house slacking? Is that even a word? Slack? Slacking? Slack? I mean, slacking, I guess, yeah. Slacking, slacking is a word. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I mean... I don't know. I would have never called you much of a cleaner anyways, but you certainly have, uh, have just completely stopped. I guess we could call it like that, but I guess there's a, it's a good thing I'm around to do the dishes and everything oh, like I have. Zach, I do the dishes, but you know what's so frustrating about me doing the dishes? You are 90% of them because I stopped, um, I, I don't drink caffeine anymore. I stopped early in pregnancy just to be safe. So I don't do, use any cups. I honestly, anyway, no, <laughs> now I'm just like, let me just stop. Yeah, I mean, you don't do the dishes. So, I do the uh, I do the dishes. <laughs> I do the dishes. You can't even say I don't. It's a team. Who did the dishes this morning? Zach, that was the first time oh, in months, yeah, and it just I, so happens. That and I told you, day, it's yeah, no, like, yeah. I told you I didn't want to do the dishes because I feel like I have germs on me. But now I don't. I woke up feeling great this morning. I'm so confused by what's happening to me with this sickness um but another interesting topic what are your thoughts on night nurses i would don't have a clue what a night nurse is oh well basically you hire them and they just take over just at night so that you can just get a full eight or nine hours of sleep at night like you don't have to wake up to get your baby are you asking me because you want to do that or what I don't, yeah i've never heard of it yeah you want to Pace, like you are the night nurse. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, Zach. I've never, I've yeah. never do that. <laughs> I couldn't even. I mean, I granted, I don't judge anyone. Okay, let me even just go back a step further. Like, we don't have the money for a night nurse, but even if we did, I genuinely don't think I would do that. It's like a, it's a controversial thing amongst like rich people. They do that, but I just. And granted, when I'm so sleep deprived and I'm like crying at night, I'm probably gonna change my tune. I just think getting up and like feeding your baby and like those nighttime feeds are such a part of parenthood. And Zach and I, we are gonna be splitting it 75 25. Yeah, I wouldn't be shocked. So I'm glad, to, yeah, tell the world I do everything around this house. <laughs> well, if I'm breastfeeding, it'll literally be 100 0, but we'll see. Not everyone can breastfeed. I was a, I was a formula girl, by the way. Do you know if you were formula? I mean, I, as you can tell with my intelligence, I was probably that nutritious breast milk. <laughs> and you were probably formula, which would really add up. I think I have this breast milk. Can, do people put breast milk in the bottles? Is that yeah. a thing? Like, do you like... Yeah. So if, like, I got up, I, we could do that. Every oh, yeah, day. that is true. That yeah, I could get a little bit of a break. Um, I feel like Asher has trained us, though, for so much sleep deprivation on. Like, at least, like, we're definitely not hitting the, I, wait, wait Zach, I was about to say, we're definitely not hitting eight hours. I literally slept 13 hours two nights ago. I slept yeah, from eight to last nine. last night was 10 or 11. No, it was, no. We went to bed at 11 and I wasn't up, I got up at like, no, we went to bed late last night. Yeah, but I was up at 6.45. You did get up early with our son, which is very kind, very kind. Um, but no, the whole night nurse thing, like, yeah, like, I'm never going to judge someone. Like, I, I don't know. I don't, I can't judge unless I've been in the shoes of, of that. But I literally just can't even imagine doing such a thing. But to each his own. Comment below if you have an opinion or a thought or an experience. This is a judgment-free zone, guys. We don't judge people around here. Your mom's going to come stay with us and she'll be our night nurse every once in a while. <laughs> come on over, Kath. Welcome anytime. <laughs> Love the guest room open for you. Yeah. yeah, my mom is going to come down during that time. She's trying to like rent an Airbnb or something. I'm just, I just, the amount of money she's going to blow is just not, I just don't think that's worth it. I just think she might as well stay with us. Yeah, I mean, I'm assuming she's going to stay with us and I think it's, it's fine. Obviously those first few weeks we will all be there, but then I'll have to just go back to work. So, I mean, if she's there to help you and stuff, that'll be... Good. Do you still not know about your paternity leave? I mean, I, don't, I have no idea. I haven't looked it up, so. <laughs> He's a really big planner. <laughs> I mean, it's going to be what it is. When we, like, it's not like it's going to change, so. Oh, my gosh. Just It'll be nice I to know. Just because I my document now doesn't mean I get an extra week. 
I think that's how it does work. Oh, we'll check when I get home. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It was way hotter than I feel like I was expecting. Like I totally could have gotten away with short sleeves today, but we are taking a little field trip and we are looking at what could have been. I feel like we do this a lot, but I'm so interested because- well, there's a new entrance here. Do you want to go in the old entrance and just see the other house? Yeah, because I want to see this is the one that we almost got. So when we were, you know, buying a house and looking at houses, there was this one house we found that was still being built. So it, it wasn't like move in ready, but it was gonna be move in ready soon that Zach over here kind of fell in love with. He really, really enjoyed it. Yeah, and I liked the area and we're driving up. It's like across from a golf course and stuff. Not that I play golf, but <laughs> I like the view. It's really nice, but the one con for me, well, the one is it was like really up out of our price range. But number two is I can show you right here the location it's literally like right off this main road it's just our house like I, I like privacy I wouldn't feel comfortable like being outside I mean I would I make it sound like I'm a freak there was just no like privacy like I like how right now we back up to the woods oh my gosh you could see the person's car is home that could have been us Zach but this was this was the house so we I think we saw the XDO you know, the exterior was completed but they were just still finishing up the inside it's a beautiful house and then, wow, I feel like a lot of this wasn't... None of, I mean, none of this was here. That none was the first house in the neighborhood. <laughs> wow, that's so weird. It's so cool watching homes, I don't know, like whole neighborhoods be built. So, very, very cute. And the other big con with this community is, as you can see, it's still very much so being built. Like, you would literally be living in the construction for a very long time. Lots of dirt. One of my biggest productivity tips, although I am the first to admit I'm like the last person who should be giving advice right now considering it took me like three months to even do any of this, but you have to start small and you can't create this, these huge goals. For example, like I have so many things I need to do around the house, but on this particular day, I was just focused on two or three of them. And also have a little reward at the end. Like I knew I was gonna be making myself a wonderful dinner that night. And when I say wonderful dinner, I mean mac and cheese. But um, but yeah, like know that it's not gonna last forever. Like I knew, hey, I'm just gonna do two hours of this. I'm gonna have a great reward at the end. And this is all I have to do for today. And then the next day, you kind of have that momentum. But I just feel like what has been stopping me from doing this for the longest time is I was just way too overwhelmed and it's helpful to have small goals. Whew. All right, guys, it's a few hours later. My feet actually hurt from just like standing for so long, which is pathetic. It's only been a few hours. That Yeah, that's just actually more embarrassing for me than anything else. But I am so happy. Everything just looks so good. Like it just, it feels so much more organized. I probably got rid of like half of this pantry that we just didn't like things that were expired things that we weren't going to be eating our fridge is also looking super good it's actually it's making me realize like we really need to go grocery shopping we have like nothing in it and then zach really he's the star of the show because he built this table pretty much 100 percent on his own i'm obsessed i can link it below by the way it was like hundred dollars off Amazon, but I think it looks so good. I plan on putting like maybe like some baskets underneath. Obviously it'll hide the wire, maybe just like some cute coffee table books, picture frames. I don't know why my camera keeps doing this by the way. And then a mirror or something, maybe like a painting up here. My camera is actually annoying me. Asher's like, I'm on team dad today. It's my team. Today, always. Also, do you want to tell them about what you ate for dinner tonight? More, uh, breaded chicken from the Chinese place. Was it Susie's dinner or little Bobby that you stole? Can't, can't be sure. Tell the, I didn't tell the vlog. Yesterday I ordered Chinese, just dinner for myself. And it was just carry out and they handed me a box and I just took it and left. And I got home and it was like seven meals. And so he is just gonna be eating that all week. Good morning guys on a super cloudy, dreary day. I was actually just telling Zach, I did not get the winter blues this year. Every single winter, it's just like maybe around February. Yeah, I'd say February where I'm just like, I'm over this. Like it's impacting my mood. That didn't happen this year, but there is a caveat. I think it's just because I was too distracted by the horrible first trimester. And I was honestly grateful. It was cloudy and gray and cold because I just wanted to 
laying on the couch all day. So that probably had something to do with it. But I, I just felt like this winter wasn't that bad. And now it's spring and I'm so excited. I just uh, did a workout at Burn Boot Camp. It was strength day, which it's funny because I used to hate strength day. I was just all about the cardio. I just want to get my heart rate up. I want to like die <laughs> during my workout. And now like strength, like I just feel like that is what truly makes a difference. And I just want to like slow it down a little bit. So that was really good. It was actually a partner workout. And my partner was just, you know, just, it's literally like they say partners, you just like look to your left and the first person you make eye contact with. I've been lifting like way lighter. I mean, not even way lighter. I never lifted heavy to begin with, let's be real. But I, I am really like taking it easier at the gym. And I was going to say, and like, it was like my instinct to say like the person like who was my partner, oh, I'm pregnant by the way. Like that's why I'm like lifting so light, like as a little excuse. And then I was like, no, I don't need to qualify this. Like I don't need an excuse. I could just be lifting lighter because I want to, because I need to, because I have an injury or because I don't like whatever it might be like you don't need to always qualify things in life make excuses like just confidently <laughs> lift those <laughs> 10 pound dumbbells 10 pounds is the lightest they have and I was I was all over the 10 pounds this morning but anyway I just got to Kroger I was so annoying my gym is right next to Kroger forgot my wallet so I had to go all the way back home and then all the way here but I am going to do some grocery shopping what <laughs> he's like i must come hello so guys i just got caught in torrential downpour all of these groceries are wet like i am yeah anyway that was that was interesting but i wanted to give a little kroger haul because we actually have some new picks this week which is very exciting um so yeah i just figured salmon corn maybe for dinner tonight i plan on making my clancy cookies with dates this week which will be very yummy these are so freaking good harvest snaps lightly salted is my favorite we just needed some toothpaste i got some dressing this has been like my everything guys it is the private selection creamy balsamic it is so good it tastes like you're eating a salad at a restaurant for the salad i just got peppers we've got zucchini cucumber a whole bunch of lettuce lettuce for my uh, wraps as well croutons i'm going through a slight uh, <laughs> mac and cheese obsession the annie's vegan mac is so freaking good guys and then also a lot of you said because i tried the daya cheddar one that was awful a lot of you said the alfredo is good so i'm i'm gonna give it a try i've been very into tofu lately which is so not like me but chicken has just not been hitting like it used to so we've been doing tofu i really like this in like my salads my wraps i'm also going to be trying out some granola and yogurt this morning i don't know I don't know, like I don't normally eat this, but I figured I could give it a shot. And then just a whole bunch of tomatoes. And where is it? Oh my gosh, yes. I'm about to go in on this. Watermelon has sounded so freaking good lately. The funny thing is I don't even like yogurt. Like I've never been a yogurt person ever, but I've seen so many people with their little yogurt parfaits lately and it's making me jealous. This doesn't even, this is not look good at all. I've seen a lot of people incorporate some honey. So we're just gonna go for the gold with that. Well, or maybe we're not, it is literally, stuck come on darn it this stinks all right i'm gonna have to google some recipes or something because this just looks so sad i've got an exciting haul guys one of the things i am so freaking excited about the other just just minorly excited so we'll start out with the one that's not as exciting i decided to where's the packaging shop the tart sale i believe they were like 20% off site wide. And for Tarte, I really, you'll see, I really only buy two things from there, I'm pretty sure. For no reason other than like, I just found these two Holy Grail items that I'm obsessed with. The first, I love the Tarte Shape Tape uh, Concealer. Great under the eyes, especially if you're doing like a full coverage look. It's so good. I got it in the shade 16N Fair Light Neutral, which is actually lighter than the one I currently use. I feel like the one I currently use is like, way too dark for me it's also like yellow so i'm hoping this one can be better and then guys oh my i recently discovered this mascara because they were doing another sale for like a black friday type thing cyber monday it is the lights camera lashes mascara it makes my lashes so long without being clumpy without having to do like a million different coats it's just beautiful like i literally just do one coat and i just feel good about it and that's coming from someone i don't have long lashes like my lashes are nor naturally like i don't know they're just like not naturally that long. I bought three because <laughs> I'm so obsessed. And then, ooh, we also got a little free sample. Oh yes, I wanna try the tartlet. I've obviously, I've heard a lot of good things about this too. So we'll see if it can come close to this one, but I'm obsessed. Now for the super exciting package. So a little backstory on this. I was watching one of Mikkel Jancy's blogs 
and she was wearing these sweatpants and then she showed like oh i just got these sweatpants she showed how stretchy they were where like she pulled them out like they came out like two feet i was so sold when i saw them you guys know i've been on the hunt for new sweatpants a lot of mine are just like very raggy like i raggy raggy raggedy is that even a word they're just old and i am someone so the ones i'm going to show you right now they're not cheap actually do i have like the receipt so i can see how much they were it doesn't say but i want to say it was around like 50 or 60 dollars which is insane normally my sweatpants are around like 20 or 30 but i was thinking to myself like this is something that actually would be worth the money for me if it is as great as it was made out to be and that's because i wear sweatpants like every day i live in sweatpants for example like my jeans my going out tops no i don't splurge on those because i don't wear that often obviously you're not wearing like the same tops every day so like that's where I save my money. I, I don't buy as nice of things, but if these sweats are life-changing, then it will be worth the money. And by the way, the brand is Z Supply. I had actually never heard of them. Oh my gosh. All right. I just felt them. They feel so freaking... Oh my gosh. Guys, it's literally... What is this material? It's... I don't even know how to describe it. It's so soft. So this is the medium pair. I was debating if I should get the large. Obviously, I'm going to be growing quite a bit. But then with, with like the stretch, with how stretchy it seemed, I figured like maybe I don't need to. Oh my gosh, let's try these on. Okay, I am sold. I am absolutely sold. Like there are various types of comfort levels. Like there's comfy and then there's, I'm not wearing anything on my body right now. Like it literally, like I don't feel any pull around like my waist area and by the way the best part are you ready for it look at this look at this <laughs> this is insane i could be pregnant with triplets um yes this is like i would tell you guys if this was not worth the money i i'm i'm sold i think i might get it in another color as well and possibly even like a matching top i don't know like this material is just crazy and the stretch i can link them below if you guys are interested i feel like these are just like the perfect lounging around your house sweatpants i mean obviously i let's face it i go out in them too like i have no shame when it comes to that but i am about to continue on with my productivity it is literally addicting just getting stuff done and just how good it feels so i'm gonna continue on with that i'm actually gonna end the vlog here and i'm gonna start a new one tomorrow i've been trying to be cognizant of my vlog lengths like i don't want to create these monster vlogs because as a viewer i find it overwhelming when one of my favorite youtubers uploads like a 40 minute vlog every four days i'm just like i i like you i like watching you but i cannot keep up with that so i have i don't know i always just put out what i love consuming and i've just been loving like i feel like 25 minutes is like so perfect 20 to 25 minutes is what i've been loving so just trying to be a cognizant of the length i know everyone prefers different length vlogs some people love ones that are like short snappy 10 to 15 minutes other people like to sit through like a a 30 minute one but um but anyway i love you guys so much i'll talk to you guys later bye